How embarrassing! Is that that obvious? <laughs> Merchant Princess of the Trinity is completely bored with me and I can't get all the interest! I just wish I had something I could do! Can you please help me? Oh, okay. That was a bit over the board. <laughs>We know she's putting that weed in there. We know that. What is going on, guys? It's Peter Bread, and welcome back to my Sims Medieval Let's Play. As most of you guys know, um, I started this Let's Play about a year or two ago. However, I abruptly ended it because my save file got corrupted, and I actually haven't checked out the file for a while. So let me see. Yeah, a little error comes up saying that it's corrupted. And I even tried to um, use the backup file that the game made, and that also didn't work out because that was also corrupted. So I looked up more solutions to the problem and really nothing worked out so to me I just felt like the save file was just dead so out of frustration I ended the let's play well I wouldn't say I ended the let's play but I just ended whatever was going on for the time being but I did mention that I was going to continue playing this game someday and today is one of those lucky days where I play it again so we're going to be starting with a brand new save file I don't know if we're going to do like a completely different monarch um, we might have the same guy, but with like altered personality and name and maybe appearance, but he will be like a base model for this fresh start. Um, I'm not going to be starting from part one. I'm going to be continuing where the original part series was on. So I think we ended around part 14. So this will be part 15, but with a new monarch, everything fresh. I don't know if I want to do a female monarch, but I, I think I want to continue with a male because most of my other series have females and kind of want to balance things out so yeah alright so let's see we're gonna do traditional again because I'm just not the best at decor and it'll probably take a lot more time to you know decorate everything so we're gonna be calling this oh my god okay <laughs> I call it Pitato land alright so what I really like about this game and I you know miss playing this because it actually gave me things to do it had a storyline and it gave me things to do, which I kind of find difficult in The Sims. Like when I'm playing it, just the, the other games, I lack um, things to do. And I'm pretty sure most of you guys can relate with that because you're just like, uh, what what shall I do now? Hmm. Although there's probably a lot of things you could do, but I just can't find the things to do. So we're just going to go back to medieval. All right, I need to stop talking. I just need to justify myself a whole bunch of times so you guys understand where I'm coming from. So let's create a monarch. All right. So I think his name was Adam Roberts, which was kind of really not medieval-like, in my opinion. Okay, I like Whittaker. I'm just going to go with that. And his name will be Ian Whittaker. That kind of sounds a little bit more medieval than Adam Roberts. Um, let's see. We're going to change his traits. We're going to alter his personality. We need something fresh and new. Um, so let's just get rid of everything here. Wow, it's been so long. All right, let's see. Traits. So let's pick out ooh let's do scholarly um it's like I kind of planned this out I actually did a little bit of practicing with this because I didn't want to you know mess up a lot and as you guys know I'm a perfectionist with my intros I I think this is my 20th take so scholarly and dedicated but often take on a heavier workload than they can really handle getting more stuff done has its rewards though if they're up to the challenge I think I'm gonna keep a linquent because that's probably gonna help us out a lot with some of the quests that needs to you know you need to convince people for fatal flaw he will be I don't know I think it'll be interesting to have him be a drunkard. So, whoop. A drunkard? 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 Something like that? Okay, no, you're like a vampire. Eh, meh. I wonder if there's like custom hairstyles. Because there's not really a lot of options. Not good options. Well, maybe we'll just keep this hairstyle. We'll just give it a different color. And yeah, we'll just do that. Or his eyebrows. It's a little bit bushy. <laughs> a little bit bushy. So... Let's change that. Ooh, whoa. Battle scar. That's the pedo stash. That's the pedo stash. We don't want that. I like this one's nice. Eh. Right? Right guys? Am I, am I doing good? He's like at a carved face. Okay, let's do that. Don't know if that was the same. Nah, he looks different. He looks different from the last monarch. Alright, nose. Hmm. That's a good nose. 
All right, mouth. Hey, I'm happy. No. All right, no makeup. Um, but we we can check that out if you guys want. We can look at the makeup. We have some <laughs> eyeliner going on. Like this is medieval times. Do people really put on makeup back then? I don't know. I think I don't know. All right. Uh, outfit. I really like this outfit. Maybe we'll just have a recolored version of it. But let's see. Digging the cape. That's that's the thing that's buying me with these two. Is like there's a cape, so you feel more powerful. Like capes have that powerful feeling. Yeah. Ooh, I like this one. Let's do that. <laughs> All right, is this is this it? Are we done? Finally done? No, are we done? We're done. Okay, we'll save this guy. Save him to the bin just in case this game wants to crash on me or something. I don't know. How did I know the game would crash? Not really crash, but it would just be buggy. All right, so let's furnish our kingdom. Let's see. What shall we do? We have one thousand um, simoleons. I guess we still call it simoleons. Can we do some recoloring? I don't know if I want red. I want blue. Cool. All right, we'll do that. Blue. These chairs will be blue. I want everything to be blue. Blue. Oh, wow. Why did I click the floor? Okay, let's go upstairs and see what else. Uh, nope, not really. We'll keep the red chairs upstairs. I mean, they're in different rooms, but the main area has to be all blue. So. We need to go into the quest log. Here we go. First steps. The dust had finally settled on the construction of a grand throne room. I think this is the tutorial. So uh, I don't think we need to do the tutorial. I'm pretty sure we, we know how to play this game. Power grab. Every now and then a key needs to solidify his power. For principle. We'll gain foreign support and we'll gain domestic. Wait, no, wait. These are approaches. Ooh. This was kind of... Mm. Winning the hearts and minds of people was the best way to secure one's position as ruler and the kingdom and for such charming leader It would not be much of a challenge. Ooh, so does this mean that this one's more challenging? So for those of you that are not familiar with these words domestic is in the within the kingdom foreign is out of the kingdom I'm pretty sure <laughs> I didn't want to do the tutorial again that I don't know, it was it just took too long. I remember it taking like 30 40 minutes. I think Building up people's confidence was not always easy. Okay, I'm going to do it in the voice now. Got to bring this back, guys. Building up people's confidence was not always easy. Okay, I don't know if that, what that is, especially when they came from different cultures. But the king was ready for the challenge. Earning the respect of Pitato's neighbors would increase Lord Ian's status at home. Alright, so what we need to do is to view political situation from the tactical map. So let's head on over here and view this position. Sorry, Lucius. Oh, that, that reminds me, Lucius, that game that I was playing about murdering people, being a child murdering people. I think I might bring that back too. If you guys want to see that, let me know. Um, but I'm probably just going to bring it regardless. I don't want to write my own story for now. It's actually kind of late for me to record this. It's like 11 p.m. I should be asleep soon. But I'm probably going to sleep right after this and upload this on Thursday. So happy Thursday for those of you. What do we want to approach? Who do we want to approach? Actually, I think we have to convince both of them, right? We don't choose. Very interesting. I think focusing on my closest neighbors is a sound strategy. I'll seek out the support of Tragedy and Craft. I'll see you have to do both of them. I shall invite leaders from leadership from both territories here to my home. Alright, so I think we gotta go to the podium, right? We gotta draw up, yeah. Excuse me, uh... Sir, ma'am, ma'am, ma'am. Yeah, thank you, thank you, thank you, thank you. So let's draw up that craft hole. We're doing that first. <laughs> craft hole. Ooh, he has like a little... I think we had that before. I don't know, I'm just now noticing the details on his outfit. He has a sword. Right. On his side. Pretty sure we had that from my last monarch. I wasn't too detail-oriented. Or keen. Alright, I think craft holes are just about done. So we will now do up the Tredini invitation. The letter read, the red, later red. 
O、oh, Crafto, your great lands teem with life, wealth, and knowledge. I would have your leadership join me at my castle to celebrate our loyalty to each other and f- future prosperity. Let us learn from each other so that we may forge the mightiest bonds of alliance. I have a feeling that later on in this game, that you're probably going to become enemies with either one of them or two of them. I don't know. I just feel like there would be like a problem occurring later on. So yeah, dearest tragedy. It has been far too long since persons of our neighboring lands have met face to face to rejoice in our alliance. I humbly request the company of Tredney leadership to share in the glory of our kingdom. Come visit and spend time with us so that our two lands can forge the strongest bonds of friendship. All right, I'm sorry if I'm disgracing the the accent. Oh, I'm sorry. Um, I just love accents. I I mentioned this so many times. Give assignment to royal advisor Carries. All right. Uh, let's see. Let's give her the assignment. You know. Royal advisor carries. I want you to collect our guests and ensure their safe arrival. More importantly, I want you to keep your eyes and ears open and find out everything you can on them. I expect a full report when you return. Understand? Yes, Majesty. I shall not fall you, fail you. <laughs> oh my God! All right. I remember. I think doesn't he poison them? I don't know if all the stories are the same, but I'm pretty sure he poisons them for their、um, bonding. I don't know. So what shall we do? I think we're just waiting. So why don't we make amends with some people here? Let's become friendly with Baxta. Let's talk to Bax. Ask about her health.、Um, let's ask about her musical preferences, and we'll gossip. Well, actually, we'll get to know her. Let's get to know her. Ask about religion. Maybe she's gonna be agnostic, like most people around here. They're, they're agnostic. Bum 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 bum. We learned that. Yep, she is Lori Lel. Lori Le. Is agnostic. How, how interesting.、Uh, let's ask her about living. How she's living in, living in Pitato. Is it good? Is it bad? She doesn't tell us. What a skink.、Um, let's tell her another joke. Welcome to home. Yeah, why not? Send her to the pit. Oh my god. These are all the evil stuff. Hey, no fighting, you two. Fighting is very, 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 very much prohibited within the king, the castle, the kingdom's castle. I don't know. Build my solutions. All right, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, he's gonna be like one of our main quest guys.、Uh, let's see traits. Comfort with well chosen words. See, gotta be you're eloquent. You know, eloquent. All right, artistic works. Wait, let's see. We're not really hungry or tired. Um, can we practice our sword fighting thingy? Is there dummies? Are there dummies? I don't think so. We probably have to go to another place for that. Wow, it's been quite a long time. I have to check out everything. Wow, she's still getting those guys. God, take forever.、Uh, we'll give her an inspirational speech, and that'll be the end of that combo. Then we'll talk to Lucius right afterwards. How how fair the? You better like this. If you don't like it, I'm gonna send you to the pits. There we go. You won't. Be sent to the pint. Pint. What? The monarch was pleased to see that royal advisor Carries had returned quickly. It appeared that the inv- that was not quick. That was so long. <laughs> It appeared that the invitations were accepted as merchant princess. Ooh, merchant princess Althea of Tredney, Miss Miss Math- Smith, Master Lamarack of Craftsville, both followed. By the looks of each, by the looks of it, each had brought an additional guest. It was perfectly normal that they were not travel alone, of course. But there was something about the strangers more than ever. Lord. Ian wished to hear the advisor's reports. All right, let's go check out their report. Get the detailed report. Sorry, Lucius, that was a very short convo. Gotta check out with the advisor now. See how she's faring with this here. What do you got to say about them two, huh? I studied them carefully, just as you ask. I cannot believe the merchant princess Althea of Tredney's spouse came along. In fact, I cannot even believe that those two are married. Rumor has it that merchant princess Althea of Tredney is quite the randy dandy. Every cute young thing we passed on our journey had her eyes all over him. A lot of nerve that one. Okay, I don't want to do that voice. I just <laughs> um welcome. We gotta welcome both of them. All right, let's welcome them. Welcome to Pitato. Hope you like my new kingdom's name. On the other hand, Smithmaster Lamarack of Crowdhall seems to be the consummate professional. I could observe no ill, ha- no ill habits, nor hear any negative rumors. 
In fact, the only vice that Smith Master Lemmerick of Craftol seems to have is a weakness for sweet drinks. Oh, and Craftol Protector. Paula is usually within yelling distance in case of any trouble. A pretty heavy emphasis seems to be placed on personal safety. Thank you for so Thank you for such a lovely invitation. It's lovely to see you. Please allow me to introduce my lovely spouse to you. Honey! <laughs> Alright, you're not introducing him, so sorry. Please, make yourselves at home. My, s my servants are at your disposal. Yep, you can trash our servants. I mean, they are servants for a reason. Thank you for having us. I have brought along my trusted protector. I go nowhere without my most skilled bodyguard. Can't be too careful in this day and age, am I right? <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> it is great to have you here. My people will keep us safe. But of course, your bodyguard is welcome here. I hope you both have a magical visit. Well, how very interesting. The leader of Craftol is a bit paranoid, but has a weakness for sweet food and drink. The leader of Tredonis seemingly low morale standards um, and is always on the lookout for the next roll on the hay. How can I leverage this information to my advantage? Alright. So, this Craftol. Tredonis. Let's do Craftol first. Yep, poison. Give him poison candy and then offer the antidote if they support my rule. Treats. I'll gain support by impressing Sh Smith, Sh Smith Master Lemmerick of Craftful with the most delicious drink in all of Pitato. Um. Uh, how will we. I think they both have, like, positive effects, right? You just. They're just giving you options on how to approach. Uh, last time we did poison, so I'm going to do the delicious drink. We're doing. We're going to switch it up. What's the old saying? Fair maidens attract more dragonings, dragonlings than old knights. I think I can entice Smith Master Lamrak of Craftle by offering the most delicious beverage. If only we were a great cook. Maybe we would have an effect on that. I don't know. Yeah. Do some errands, please, advisor. Thank you very much. Are you going to do it? Are you going to do... Oh, we have to give her money. Okay. Here, take my money. 50 small is nothing. Alright, so we're going to do the Tredony um, approach. Um, I'll seduce the leader and then use it as a blackmail. Oh my god. Merchant Princess of the Attorney Marriage has probably just run out of spark. I'll teach them some new tricks to rekindle the flame. Ooh. We can rekindle the flame. Or we can be sadistic here. Well, we're not cruel. We're not evil. Hmm. Let's, let's rekindle the flame here. I think um, I remember like a comment from one of my older parts is that... Um, I don't know if it was this or not, but I should um, use approaches that are appropriate with the personality of my monarch. Or was it maybe something that was far away from that? I don't know. I think it was the first one. Use the, use approaches that fit the character. So I might do that because it makes it more interesting. Wait, where are you? <laughs> oh, we have to we have to become friends with. Okay, how fair thee? You're reading books. I can tell you're maybe a scholar like me. Ask about your health. Gotta know that stuff. Get to know. Discuss the state of the kingdom. And yeah, we'll see how this goes. Our people, Lucius, are you picking a fight with everybody around here? Because it seems like you want to just pick fights. I'm just noticing here. Oh, sorry. I'm being, am I being boring now? Am I just being so... Um... Ask about your religion. Ooh, we learned she's agnostic. Uh, not surprising. Everybody's agnostic, aren't they? Oh, I don't want to... No, 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 no. I do not want to send her to the stocks. That'd be horrible. She's, like, from some other place, right? So, wait, no. That's... This is not... This is the spouse. This is the spouse. We can't really... No, that'd be horrible. Let's ask about the health again. Musical preference. Okay, now that we're friends, I feel comfortable asking, how's your love life? Flat? Getting a little dull? No sp sprung in your boing? Oh my god. She's gonna respond, right? Alright, we just... Okay. How embarrassing! Is that not obvious? Merchant <laughs> Princess of the Chinese is completely bored with me and I can't get all the interest! I just wish I was something I could do. <laughs> Can you please help me? Oh. Okay. That was 
was a bit over the board, you know, over the top. I'm sorry. I'm sorry. It's, it's, it's late. So, excuse my horrible behavior here. We'll do a friendly hug. No, pr no problem. We'll, we'll just give you a hug. I think I can help you. Being king does tend to have its advantages after all. Let's see what we can do to bring the fire back to you. Fire back into your life. I was gonna say fire back into your fire. No problem. Alright, okay. So I'm actually just gonna end it off here. If you guys enjoyed the episode and you enjoyed the return of this Let's Play, um, give the video a thumbs up and leave some comments down in the comment section down below. I'll be looking forward to reading them. Of course, I always respond um, most of the time. But um, yeah. And if you want to continue watching the series or any of the series that you're interested in, hit the subscribe button if you haven't already. It is completely free and you'll be notified of when I upload. And it also supports the channels tremendously. So, yeah. Uh, and that is, that is about it. Thank you guys for taking the time out of your day to watch this episode. And I'll see you guys in the next upcoming videos. Stay tuned. Stay awesome. Love y'all. Bye. <laughs> Let's <laughs> go.